Most of us, when we think of the clandestine submarine operations of World War II, we think of the infamous German U-boats. However, the British Royal Navy had a unique submarine of their own. They were known as X-Craft, a unique midget submarine which could be tasked with equally unique operations. X-Craft had a limited range and needed to be towed by a mother submarine, such as a T or S-Class, to their intended target, and subsequently picked up after mission end. The craft was 16 meters long and displaced 27 tons. It had a crew of four, and a four-cylinder, 52-horsepower diesel engine, such as what was used in London buses at the time. The electric motor produced 30 horsepower. On the surface, the submarine can move up to 12 kilometers an hour in fair conditions, and about one-third this speed submerged. But what was most unique about the X-Craft were their weapons. The X-Craft were armed with two massive side charges, attached to either side of the hull, with the idea being that she was small enough to slip under a target, such as a German warship stationed in Norway, then lay her charges and slip away. The most famous mission the X-Craft were known for was their first, but it wouldn't be their last, Operation Source, which was the attempt to destroy or damage the German battleship Tirpitz, which had frustrated the British Royal Navy and Air Force with numerous failed attempts of destroying. Six X-Craft were used in the mission, and given teething issues on their first deployment, only two were successful in laying charges under the Tirpitz in the heavily defended Norwegian port. The X-Craft managed to badly damage the Tirpitz, rendering out of action until May of 1944. One such X-Craft operation that is often overlooked is their involvement on the D-Day landing. X-Craft were able to get close to the shores of France without being easily detected. Divers would subsequently swim ashore from the X-Craft and take vital survey information used for the beach landings on June 6, 1944. X-Craft were also used on D-Day itself as navigation beacons able to get close to the beachheads without detection to help the Allied Navy. I'm Johnny, thanks for watching this quick brief on the British X-Craft. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.